Hello and welcome. Now I see from Tax TV. Hope we're all well. Uh, what a result that was. Five home wins on Bop. Uh, now for Barnsley. Before I get on about uh, after match thoughts about game, <clears throat> just want to give a shout out to club for a great gesture what they did in regards to Norman Rimo Remington. Um, obviously, the, you know a legend and word gets used a lot in this game, but uh, a man that gives sixty five years of his life from uh, a young man to an older statesman, 65 years at one club, been everything from a player to a groundsman to a coach to a kit man. Uh, true legend, true legend, Mr. Barnes, as some might call. And to name the, the Ponty, Ponty Road end, uh, going to be renamed the Norman Remington stand. Great gesture. Good minutes applause as well for... George Cohen, Norman Remington, and sadly Pelly as well. What had uh, earlier that evening had passed away. So three, three players, three characters, three, three players that uh, unfortunately no longer with us, but will always be thought of. And Norman Remo Remington, once red, always red. So getting to the game. Uh, kind of similar stats I, f I felt against Fleetwood as regards to Ackington. I thought this staff were a bit, you know, it's a miss kind of thing. I thought, you know, could we have been two, maybe three notes up again in this staff? Unfortunately, it won't. I think it was intent or what I could see as well from Fleetwood is that they were quite happy to just hit the long ball into the flanks. Not offer us any real threat for staff. What I could see, um, it looked like we wanted to hit some break or you know, happily play out for a draw. And Fleetwood's record is a draw specialist. So, again, onus were back on us. Get on about referee in a minute, but I thought it was a bit nitpicky throughout game, you know, not one at worst up, up until. The, probably the last 10 15 minutes at, at game for some reason, it was like a light switch that might have flicked on. But getting away from that into the second half, I thought the intent were upped by Barnsley in second half. Great goal by Norwood, uh, took it well. It was just a matter of time, but I think as soon as that goal had gone in, you could see since the uh, Bit of pressure what had been released. Quite a few players, but for my man at match um, thoughts, and we'll come on to that in a minute. And then for some reason, you know, what I what my take on it, I watched it, and I've uh, when I was here at game, and obviously I've already re watched it back. But their player, I thought it was a soft penalty, I thought it was an harsh penalty, but it was soft. You could see that legs got tangled up. I think when he got in front to Anderson, the Fleetwood player kind of put brakes on and it tangled the legs and gone down. Again, again, penalty, soft at best. But what, what more frustrating for me is that when Norwood in second half, ah, that was not a penalty, I don't know. Got bundled over, got shoved in back and got bundled over. And from on on a explicable reason, the ref didn't get, gave a corner, which was a question at best. Um, it seemed to be a fracas, you know. I think then, obviously, the light switch had, had gone. I think referee had lost it. He'd lost it. Um, booking, you know, I thought, I thought I'd just lost control of the game after them. Didn't know. I mean, he booked Norwood, I think, for yellow card descent after, which I think everybody, I think, majority of 10,000, you know, fans of Barnsley were up and up, bro, but could not believe such a, a soft penalty that be conceded, yet someone had be, be, been pushed over a bundle of her and it went out for a corner. 
Duff is sent, got a red card. Um, and, you know, I, I can't blame, I can't blame Duff. I mean, yeah, you, you're going to call it as it is. That's two games now with Ed and Juvis penalties, you know, that we've conceded and two penalties that we, we haven't got. Call against Accrington and this and here. I mean, what, what is going off? I thought just rewards were done from corner, resulting corner with Kundi. And I said in my previous video, I felt like we're going to get uh, a, a goal from a set piece. A yeah, I called that Anderson. I thought Anderson had popped up, but it were another centre back that had uh, chipped in, which were Kundi. And I thought it was just reward. I thought we, we deserved it. Um, but if we'd have come away with a point, I thought we'd have been. In my opinion, I thought we'd have been nicely done to. Uh, I thought we'd have been nicely done to if we'd have, if we'd have come away from that. So again, for me, it was one of them kind of performances that it were going to be similar, very similar to Accrington, where they didn't really offer a result in, in a threat, but they made it awkward for us, and it was down to us as an attacking option to take it to them. So we come away with a win. We come away with questions still being asked about uh, official officials um, on that game, but I thought the atmosphere was better, especially after Kundi uh, goals have gone in. I thought it were absolutely bouncing with proper proper bouncing and buzzing at it. You know the old well I know, and again Jallo came on, and there were a few people around me. And, you know, a young lad like that to come on, he knew what to do. I mean, he nearly ragged shirt off uh, Fleetwood's put it, uh, players back. But, yellow card, I take that all day long. Brett would play out. You know, Brett would play out. Um, so, again, for me, some good performances here. I thought Norwood uh, ran his socks off, really worked. Pretty centre back, Mobino, I could defence. I thought, Luke Connell, again, marshalled it, dictated play, organised midfield. I thought Anderson at back, I thought Cundy as well had a, had a, had a good game. Uh, a goal to cap his uh, decent performance off at back. And again, it was one of them performances where you had to be switched on. Uh, they could offer no to a, a threat, yet they could just pop up on it, you're on break, so they were switched on. Bit of an hard call this for me. Um, my man at match. I'm going to get Luke Connell just in front of Norwood. And the main reason I'm getting at Luke Connell is for his, his effort, his work rate, his organisation, what he was doing in midfield. And I think it showed that we, we lacked that in second half against Accrington. And you could see that you know, would he have possibly made that bit of extra difference in the second half against Accrington um, in the previous game? And I think him completing, you know, his minutes against Fleetwood, it shows you the kind of the player that he is coming valuable for us at the minute. Great performance by the rest of the uh, team. It was, you know, line up, mirrored the Accrington game. My own personal view. I thought we deserved it. I thought we found that extra bit of impetus in the second half. And we move on to the next game, Bolton. A big test, big test, but a test that we should be up for. Confidence should be buzzing. Um, unfortunately, with Duff, we need to see what, uh, you know, what happens with that, whether it's uh, fines and... Uh, game bans or just game ban and stuff like that. So again, that'll all come out in uh, wash in the next day or two, no doubt. But yeah, we move on. Uh, it's a win. Unfortunately, not a clean sheet, but look, a win's a win at the end of the day. Uh, we're still in uh, touch with rest of them. We've got Bolton coming up. We've got some tasty games coming up. So, you know, still still got a couple of games in hand as well. So, impetus is with us. It's, it's in our hands as such. And we just move on. And thanks for watching. Please leave your uh, comments below. Let me know your thoughts. 
your man at match, uh, your tech on game, uh, whether it be the, the players or the officials. But yeah, let me let me know your thoughts. Bounder versus Fleetwood. Leave the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share. As you always do appreciate that. One thing left to say. Oh, sorry. Have a good new year. Uh, we'll get some content out before the new year, obviously, with the Bolton game coming up. But one thing left to say now. You Reds. <laughs>